Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of NEO has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the NEO hourly time frame, the price went up by around 3.3% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 11.5. The volume was actually high showing that this move was strong and the buyers are taking over. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, the price broke the 20 SMA to the upside it's a strong signal that there has been a higher than average volume. For this time interval, the current price is above all of the simple moving averages, which looks bullish and you should watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could remain stable or the price will dip below it with the current price of around 11.4. Pointedly, the current price is above the 200 SMA, which is perceived as a strong support. Nevertheless, if there were to be a decisive downward dip, it will signal a possible big move down. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the hourly ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 11.3. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the downside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate and it is better to wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 50 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 11.4. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the three hourly ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 11.3. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Looking at the three hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 10.9 it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 14.7 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Jumping to the daily exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is is situated below the daily ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 14.5. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the resistance should be considered. Jumping to the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. time.